Salutations everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Battlefield Gothic Armada. I'm your host, Brainboy22, we had last left off. We had started with the reputation and favor system during the beginning of the Black Crusade, and we were making it a point to try to take on multiple worlds simultaneously, specifically freeing up some Adeptus Mechanicum favors, as well as several others. Now, before I continue doing anything else it's been pointed out to me that favors aren't actually as expensive as i thought they were and so i'm actually going to go make use of them after doing the smart thing and upgrading our transports again in case i ever am forced to do a transport mission so we've gotten the additional void ship generator uh let's see here i don't need more damage on you in all honesty i think hmm Efficient plasma thrusters would make sense on your vessels, at least. And I should really consider getting a battle cruiser. It's either going to be a Mars pattern with its Nova cannon, Lance turrets, ordnance launch bays, or macro batteries, or the change of plasma macro batteries, Lance turrets, and a heavy prow launcher of the Overlord class, which I actually do like more. However, before we continue on that, I actually do want to use some favors and specialize these ships any further. Now, one of the favors I'm actually very interested in, I actually do want to get a... Spes Marines, or the Impetuous Deliverance, which is guaranteed to be available for the next fight because it's not destroyed. So I'm actually going to fit the Adeptus Astartes to the vessel. We're getting a good look at it. At Startes are prepared to continue. I'm trying to identify that accent. It seems like a very weird... Like, okay, identify it more as an African accent. Like, a very English-African accent, if that makes any sense. Like, the one you hear from those who speak in the mythical nation of Wakanda in Civil War, which I was able to see with my friends on their birthday, so I'm really thankful for that. Anyway, without further ado, and before I start going into that, we should end the turn and see how badly we're going to get screwed. Inquisitor, with all respect, is Exterminatus the only solution? Admiral Spire, it is said that heresy is like a tree. Its roots lie in darkness, while its leaves wave in the sun. You can prune away its branches, even cut the tree to the ground, but it will grow again, ever stronger. Such is the nature of heresy, and why it is so difficult to destroy. Some may question my right to destroy a world of ten billion souls. But those who truly understand realize that I have no right to let them live. No sacrifice is too great. No treachery too small. The Exterminatus. The Inquisition has called forth the Exterminatus Armada to ensure that any lost world cannot be used by the enemies. It will entirely destroy planets unless you are able to take them back under the Emperor's protection. Each turn there is an increased chance the Exterminatus will target an enemy world. If a world is targeted, a mission will appear. Defaulting or ignoring it, d failing or ignoring it, destroys the planet. Destroyed planets give you penalties without chances of cancelling them. Fantastic. We have a portal world right here that's trying to be seditious. We're able to foot push back the orcish threat. And it looks like I was wrong in that we can't actually default missions to other forces because they won't succeed. Like, I was honestly hoping Walpurgis would have been taken back, but it turns out I'm wrong. Horribly so. Now I need to figure out where the Exterminatus mission hides. 
just to check through. I'm guessing it's going to be called primarily on Chaos Worlds. Don't see one here. Oh, this system looks pretty awesome. Orar, what do you have? Once again, I don't see any Exterminatus mission. Ah, there's the Exterminatus one. It's not on a world that's particularly important. I've got more important ones to deal with, like the portal worlds, which are trying to drain me of the additional deployments, because I only have three deployments per turn to deal with. So let's see here. It seems like it has one turn left on this Exterminatus for an aggro world. I really wouldn't like to have any more of a renown penalty, but I don't have much of a choice. What I should be more concerned with, though, is that we have two portal worlds lost. One from Chaos, which is definitely the dominant faction, so I'm actually going to go and take that on right now. And we are the defender. Enemy ships are en route to your location. The enemy's objective is to see certain data carried aboard your ship's cogitators. I will definitely launch the mission. Well, we aren't carrying transport ships with us, which might be a mistake to upgrade. Oh, you son of a... Of course. No, I can't cancel it now. I can't cancel it and back out because I didn't check to see what ships are available. So I'm getting tons of Admiral ships now. Which is very disappointing. Firestorm frigates are basically going to make up the bulk of our forces. Fantastic. <sighs> would have noticed that. Oh well. Looks like I'm messing with only the Impetuous Deliverance and the Son of Defiance. So hopefully these two combined will be able to take on whatever forces. My current plan now is to have our Admiral Vessel hang in the back with the Impetuous Deliverance guarding it. And all the Escort Vessels will basically make a shield wall in order to protect him. So after an auto-deploy, let's see what you're doing. I don't agree with this at all. Because you start off revealed... And I want you at max distance, basically moving in this direction from the very get-go. Well, I don't agree with it at all. So it does so anyway. No, you'll be control group 3, you're control group 1. Control group 2. I'll actually redeploy you here, because I want you in a more standing location. You'll be control group four. Four, basically go out and immediately meet them in the midway. Three, go out and meet them as well. Aim straight on ahead, max distance. Straight on ahead, max distance. Straight on ahead, close range, so you can do the multiple ramming actions. Son of Defiance, you're already at the proper setup. Ready. At your command. Okay. So everyone's making their moves. I actually want the Impetuous Deliverance to start heading out. And as I thought, he'd be identifiable right away. So basically we're going to have these two battle fleets converge on the nearest vessel to see what we can pull off here. And he'll be basically doing a castling maneuver. Although he has a torpedo ship and that is concerning. Now, you'll be targeted. You'll be targeted. You will head on out and go after this one, because we know that that's a light cruiser. So we're going to be using these forces and seeing what we can remove. So they're going to know that you have Adeptus Astarte's support. But that's all they're going to find out. They're not going to know that the rest of these ships aren't just escorts. Well... Uh, this group in particular will actually go off to the side. You will make a high energy turn. To and burn away. Oh no, you are going to get hit. Alright. You can stop your movements. And unfortunately you got caught in the stasis bombs. Okay, you're just light cruisers, all three of you. You're the heavy cruiser, which is what I'm truly concerned with. 
Uh, you just focus fire. Teleport there. Target this one. Higher energy turn. And full burn ahead. And we'll do a boarding action here. Your turret's destroyed. And oh no, you're trying to assault us. Okay, those are just all smaller vessels. That I don't mind. It's the bigger ones that I truly care about. And then you can do things like full repair while you all will perform some aim actions. Admittedly, I should learn hotkeys, but I have always been exceptionally bad about learning hotkeys of most of these vessels, or most of these games. And I want you to hit its en- no, focus its engines. Yes, Admiral. You'll keep your movements going, I just want you to turn so you can launch a batch of torpedoes. And you a lightning strike, which will fail. I want you to immediately do Void Shield Recovery Ops. Because you might be able to get the data, but you are in direct line with exactly what I need to do. And now I just need to kill you as fast as possible. You, on the other hand, can immediately assault this force and see what happens. Brace for impact. Are you serious? Immediate deck destroyed. Stop. We're gonna do the same ramming action that we did before. While you do an immediate emergency repair. You can't deny that this is not a very effective strategy. Alright. We're at a good opportunity to try this. Let's try this again. Now we have to wait. Well, we did have to wait. Now I just have to get out of range of this. Because we're going to have another opportunity... Okay, you're almost dead. I want you to turn around, because you might be our best option to take out any other things on this vessel. 20 seconds. Mm, of course. Because he's trying to escape now, and I need you to follow him. No! He's going to escape now, because I guess we couldn't destroy the engines. That's going to be the entire reason we fail again, because he's going to, like, oh no, engines are destroyed. Alright. Warp away. Warp away as fast as you can, all of you. Focus fire, please. Why aren't you making a full burn in our direction immediately? Because we're about to warp out with the data after destroying one of your major vessels. Excellent work, gentlemen. These things are always very stressful. But we finally succeeded in outdoing what they did to us earlier on. Or at least I should say the AI. The all-ambiguous AI. And with this success, we managed to destroy one of their ships, crippled another one. Oh no, we lost 17% of our renown. That's so terrible. And the Son of Defiance happens to level up. Fantastic. Alright. So it looks like we can slowly undo the Lost World status. Oh, that was just an assault. Never mind. We don't have enough, nearly enough deployments to undo the Lost Worlds. 
So we currently have our Forge Worlds recovered, all on the side of temples. I would very much like to not have a penal world, uh, debuff, or loss of inquisitorial bastions. But I need to deal with an Exterminatus. This is a Cruiser Clash. Out of curiosity, Port Maul, what do you have for us? I'd need to upgrade the Son of Defiance anyway. As it can get an upgrade and a skill up. Naturally, I want more Master Gunnery, because you are a very heavy ranged force. And improving your Lance's ability to basically demolish torpedoes would be fantastic. As would the Enhanced Battle Bridge slash the Power Ram, because I do do a lot of damage, or ramming damage here. But the Overcharge Disruption feels more useful. Okay, can I repair either one of you? Well, actually, before I even make that commitment, let's see. What does this Cruiser Clash entail? Or what I should say, what are the point costs of this Cruiser Clash? Because we can definitely deal with it. That is not a problem to me. Okay, we're the attacker, 600 points. Basically, I want my cruisers back. <laughs> I'm tired of not having my cruisers. It's only making me annoyed. And I guess it'll undo some of the renown penalties we have. It's just cruiser clashes almost never go well for anyone involved. You're still heavy damage. We're just going to priority repair the two of you. Because I want you back out there. And I think I could save at 90%, so I'm just going to start doing some other favors. So with all of you fully repaired, we have one turn left to stop an exterminatus. Son of Defiance, you're the Admiral, Dauntless, Keeper, Imperious, and three Firestorm Frigates. With bonus of 16 renown. Hopefully these specialized vessels will be good enough with the refined lenses and the overload or the disruption overcharge coupled with a lot of our ramming defenses. We should be able to start taking them down as soon as we enter the fray. And let's see what happens here. As this is a 600 point cruiser clash, I fully expect this to take a long, long while. As I should mark it to remember that this is a point where desyncs usually start to happen in the audio. Now, what is your auto deployment state? Our two ramming vessels coming in from the side along with one of the firestorms. I guess I can make you combat group three, one. You, of course, the Admiral should always be one. You'll be three. And we have an asteroid belt on our side of the field, and they have one cloud on theirs. But it's basically an open terrain, aside from locations like that, which I'm going to have to keep an eye out for. Three, your basically main objective will head in this direction. You'll only be slightly off there, because you're supposed to be in the back line anyway. This group here... I want you to queue up your movement slightly differently, because you should be able to get around that. Ready. It's been a while since we had the ability to do this. Let's send out a wayward auger probe. What direction are you all headed? And we'll see if we can cut them off with it. Odds are that's not going to succeed in the slightest but we might as well try. We might catch them. Yes, I'm going to assume that you're a very, very big vessel, Awaiting or they're all running very silent. Enemy vessel. Hopefully point. this doesn't qualify as being inside an asteroid field. Hopefully. For all I know, you could be taking massive amounts of damage just by being there. You are. Well, I guess that makes sense here. It's just particularly annoying, because I don't want you to be in there, but you apparently feel the urge to do that. Okay. So we have multiple vessels here, multiple contacts. Oh, I didn't set the fire-up set uh, settings. 
You two are, of course, supposed to be further away. You are not a lancing vessel. You're a torpedo. Head off to the side. Thankfully, you are... Okay, this vessel seems to be clinically retarded. Let's see what these torpedoes can do. They're probably going to connect if the opponent doesn't realize what's going on. Or only one of them will. One was blown up beforehand. The other, not so much. Auger probe is definitely not in line. Uh, no running silent. Just get ready to start fighting. You two can both start shooting at this one. Mm. Okay, fine. You revealed our torpedo vessel. And of course, you stop moving. I need you to go forward so I don't ram into you. Now oh, this one's gonna get hit. Alright. So we have one light cruiser here. You should be targeting this. And oh no, you were running silent. Now, what's going on here? Okay, you were hit by this, which is definitely annoying. But I want you to make the full movements forward. Doesn't matter what this one is, it clearly is one of the vessels we need to kill. Yep, I had assumed as such that your torpedo, that your forces were still in line. Engines to maximum, brace for impact, let's hit him again. And you... Oh, you literally can't warp jump away, can you? Well, full out repair. And let's do a Terminator lightning strike. The Terminator was a success. They can hit basically whatever. I wasn't paying attention. Did something blow up that wasn't supposed to? No, you're just kind of trapped there. Are you fighting or are you just being lazy? I literally have to babysit you guys. Like... Here. Teleport and get ready. Make the turn. Fantastic. There's no void shield transfer, but you can do emergency repairs. And the Terminator lightning assaults have continued, and basically this ship is now drifting because it's taking way too much fire. Oh, hey. You can do a full repair. But we have five ships to destroy, and we seem to be doing our job just fine. Who's in the back? Oh, are you literally stuck? Excellent. That'd be fantastic if you were. Hey, could you turn around? I think I got... I think I got a little something for you. Oh, come on. Come now. Don't you dare escape me. All right, <laughs> uh, we, we might want to just get out of there so you don't die. Because it's taking heavy damage. I'm just going to assume that you can kill it. Oh, it's definitely trying to escape. Whether or not it will is not my concern. Here, you of course are still a ranged vessel at heart. And of course they destroy the engines. Well, something blowed up. That something was us, but now these forces can definitely go off to the side. 
All right, one of the torpedoes is going to connect. Yeah, we're steadily winning this fight. It definitely hurts, but we're winning it. Why are you turning off to the side? It's because you were incorrectly labeled in what you're supposed to do. Well, time to correct this. Oh, come now. Something hits something. And I think it's this little ship that keeps being stupid. Speed set. Of course, the torpedo launcher has been destroyed. Why wouldn't it? Both of you can turn and burn. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey. That's a Terminator lightning strike for you. Hopefully that actually succeeds, but you probably won't. Now, what is going on in this section? I just looked at this. This battlefield, this battlefield's upside down. No wonder I'm so confused. Oh yeah, your engines are destroyed. Uh... Engage the closest side. This is obscenely confusing. I'm just remain engaging. Oh, did you warp out? Coward. Here, go figure out what this one is, because that's currently the biggest issue I'm facing. Because currently, what should be my mightiest vessel is being destroyed by swarms of missiles. Oh, thankfully, I haven't lost any Lance batteries, which is where his damage primarily comes from. You can do an emergency capacitors. We can, you know, not have you die. Now, what are you? Enemy ship sighted. Okay, this is a battle cruiser. I didn't even recognize it as such. And I'm guessing you have a lot of squadrons. Stasis bombs, void shields, void shield transfer. All decent setup. Awaiting orders. He's taking some heavy hits. He should be going down soon in the next batch of lance shells. If those shells are even remotely helpful. Lock on target. Please, focus fire and do something. Fire. Activating tactical it may be a stasis bomb, but I really don't care. Your warp jump is almost at the ready. Reload. Reloading. Oh, really? It doesn't instantly, re it doesn't instantly recharge? That's almost disappointing. Ship ready. It's not our vessel. I guess I can settle for heavy damage. It's clear that you're not firing. Helm coordinates acknowledged. And the engines are destroyed, meaning that ship will eventually win unless I use a combination of my own. Excuse me, what is hitting this ship so hard? Activating tactical Changing course. No, no, no. Stop moving before you're hit by your own torpedoes. Engage the front. Why haven't we been over this? Why are you changing any of your tactics? being very hopeful. Well, the Terminators are definitely successful. Oh my freaking gosh, though. What the heck is wrong with this vessel? Do it again. I don't know what hit us so hot. Really? Really? You mutiny in the middle of a charge? Are you insane? 
You deactivated the shields. The shields, that would have been oh so helpful. And it's going to be hit by the full force. Which this is effectively destroying it. Everyone, focus fire. Actually, no, don't let it escape. At least we were successful. We lost one vessel, but thankfully it was only the Adeptus Astartes vessel. Fantastic. They'll probably hate my guts for losing so many of their brethren. But hey, for the glory of the God Emperor, of course, that's a good enough reason. And we've reached level six. Let's see what that brings before we end this series or set for now. Come on. Nothing? Or do I actually have to go back to Port Ma, don't I? What are the additional benefits? Please tell me. You've unlocked a new cruiser slot. Well, we haven't seen a need to get a second cruiser just yet. Battles waged. One? Okay, you and I both know that, that is a lie game. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I think that's it for now, so I'm going to call this a video. Hope you've all enjoyed watching this episode of Let's Play Battlefleet Gothic Armada. I definitely know I enjoyed smacking chaos in the face. And when we come back, we'll continue more of the same. Hope you've all enjoyed it, and I hope to see you all next time. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, or subscribe. It helps out a great deal. And I usually do the spiel beforehand, but I forgot. So farewell.